And this combination seems to go to some way towards both those prospects. The viral load, as we call it, is reduced in the blood, uh, and the immune system does seem to improve to some extent. I think uh, the study is a surprise. Uh, this, the, the drug, the new drug on its own, appeared to be relatively ineffective. Uh, and it is surprising to combine a well-established a moderately effective drug with an apparently ineffective drug and get quite such an exciting result. That would be a surprise. So the amount of virus in the blood goes down almost 99% that treatment, which is quite an impressive uh, feat, I think. I certainly think that this gives hope that we now have a combination to further build on, because I don't think two drugs are going to do the job. I think we need three or four drugs. But it's nice to have two drugs that are well tolerated and that have such a, a, a relatively great effect already. But I'm sure we need to add in more drugs. Uh, as a number of other uh, human diseases, we are possibly not looking for a cure, but for a way to control it. And, and this study, with other studies that also will be presented in during this conference, uh, reopen a little bit a, a sort of window of hope that in the, in the next future, we will be able to control better this infection. Yeah.